What's going on guys? Brigger back with the Odin Project and we are doing, we're still in alignment and now we're working on the assignments here. And so I have the index open. This is what it looks like right now. This is what our, this is what we want it to look like. And this is the readme. So center this div. This one is simple, but it's something that you'll want to do all the time. Might as well get it out of the way now. All you need to do is center the red div inside the blue container. All right, self check. Is the div centered? Did you only use Flexbox to center it? So let's go over here and we want to center the box. So we're gonna do display flex and then we're gonna do um, display flex and then we're going to do justify content center and let's save that and then refresh and that did not work so display flex justify content center didn't change anything save what happened there? Cancel. Let's just minimize that. Save this. And then refresh. Still not doing anything. So maybe what we need to do is do display flex justify content. I think it needs to be inside save that and see if that did anything all right so that this needs to go away so we need to do it within the container all right so now we've got it centered that way um, I think what we need to do is flex um, flow No, not flex flow. Hold on a second. Let's go justify content centered it. Let's go back up here for a second. The gap property justify content centered align items. That's what we need to do. Align items center. All right, let's save that and refresh. And there we go. So we got that. Let's just double check the solution to make sure uh, that's the HTML. Uh, let's do this. So yeah, we're not supposed to do anything to the box. We're only supposed to do container, display flex, which we did, justify content, center, align item center. Okay, so that's the first one done. And let's go ahead and get rid of that and get rid of that. And let's go ahead and do flex header. We can close that. Let's open up desired outcome narrow. Let's make that smaller. Desired outcome wide. Okay. Let's open up the index. Let's open up the CSS, close that. And whoops, we don't want to open that. We want to open the readme. And of course we want to drag this over see what it looks like right this second. Okay, so let's hide that. All right, a basic header. Use Flexbox rules to create this very common web page header style. The benefit to using flex here is that everything should be flexible. Check out the two screenshots below to get an idea of how it should scale with your screen. Besides flex rules, you'll also want to add some rules for margin and padding. Hint, you also have some default margin padding that you will need to deal with. Desired outcome, narrow, we have both of those open. There's space between all items in the edge of the header. 
specific pixel amount doesn't matter here logo is centered vertically and horizontally list items are horizontal and are centered vertically inside the header left links and right links are pushed all the way to the left and right and stay at the edge of the header when the page is resized your solution does not use floats inline block or absolute positioning so let's go take a peek at the style and so header and I think all of this this removes the dots on list items I think this um, this should probably all go under dot header so let's do display flex and then we're gonna do um, flex direction and we want to do row I believe so let's go ahead and save that and refresh all right so we've got this in a row um, the logo um, what is a here a is the list and this is this list so the thing that I haven't properly learned is do does this need to go in both so display flex um, flex direction row and let's see what that does okay so that did exactly what we wanted it to do um, list items are horizontal and are centered vertically left links and right links are pushed all the way to the left and the right and stay at the edge of the header when the page is resized so that being said we need to do which one does one two three so uh, ul is this one no ul is both of them so um justify content and this is going to be flex in all right so we did flex in let's see what that did nothing justify content center let's see what that did if anything didn't do anything so let's take this off um, list items are horizontal and are centered vertically inside the header inside the header so I think what we need to do is do um, flex no align content and we don't want to center let's try flex start but that's gonna put everything to the left I think so honestly what I think needs to happen which is already there um, is we need to do align content space between let's try that I accidentally clicked off something I don't want that to be open. All right, let's save and refresh. And it didn't really, didn't do anything. There's space between all items and the edge of the header. Logo is centered vertically and horizontally. So I think what we need to do is display flex line justify content center and align items center. All right, let's see what that did to the logo. It did absolutely nothing. 
Um, this removes the dot on the list items. Removes the dot on the list items. This removes the line under the links. Text decoration done. Okay. So now I'm not really sure what, let's delete this. I'm not really sure what's being, flex direction row, which did what we wanted to do. Align content, space between didn't do anything. So let's save that refresh. Uh, why are you popping up here? Go away. All right, so flex direction row. Um, flex um, flex wrap. Uh, we want that set to zero. We want justify content. Um, Try space evenly and see what that does. Okay, so that did kind of what we wanted to do. Um, but still, this one needs to be set to one, two, three. And I'm not sure which ones selecting what here because a a is what that would be all of them so unordered list that would be each of these so somehow I gotta select each one so justify content uh, Flex end. Do we determine that that does nothing here? I think we did. Flex. Flex end. Flex start. Space around. Let's try that. I'm just trying everything at this point. And. That is not right. Let me try to make this bigger. All right, so what we need to do, the logo is not centered in the container. So I think what we have to do is display flex here. Um, Justify content center. Which centers that, but then it here the logo the logo is taking up the whole header and we don't want that. We want to so do we do flex shrink? Auto, maybe? I don't think that's right. At all. But I know we want that that logo to shrink. We got it centered. Flex direction. We don't want to change that. We don't want to change this. We justified it to center. Um... Justify content, justify self, maybe. Let's try that. That still didn't work. We got display flex set, justify content centered, which this doesn't appear to be doing anything, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Justify self centered didn't do anything, so I'm gonna get rid of that.
There is space between all items and the edge of the header. Pixel amounts doesn't matter. So maybe this is supposed to be space between. Let's try that. What does that do? All right, so I think that pushed it where we wanted it to, except for there's now no space. We need, so we got space between the header, which I don't think that's right. I think we need space around. Let's try this, justify content space space between because right now there's no space between anything. Maybe if we do space evenly, Let's try that. Okay. That is not doing anything. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here and we're going to come back to this one because I'm having issues. So I need to go back in learn some more, but I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.